Hello, welcome to your midwinter break edition of Othello School District's weekend update. This week's episode is full of celebrations, starting with the news that Othello's replacement educational programs and operations levy has been approved. The ballot measure received nearly 64% approval on election day. We're incredibly grateful to the Othello community for the vote of confidence. Superintendent Pete Perez shared a thank you message earlier this week. We're committed to transparency in how we use levy funds to support learning in Othello. You can expect periodic updates and clarity in our budget documents about how we allocate your investment in our schools. You can view the entire video at OthelloSchools.org. The Greater Othello Chamber of Commerce announced their K-5 and 6 through 12 Teachers of the Year this week. McFarland Middle School teacher Regina Zamora is the Grade 6 through 12 Teacher of the Year. Jeanette Zuniga is the K-5 recipient. Well, um, Ms. Zamora, um, as the manager of the Chamber of Commerce, we and your family and friends wanted to congratulate you and award you Teacher of the Year. Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Regina was nominated by MMS Principal Carlos Gonzalez. We nominated Regina Holmes Amora because of her work at our school, particularly in the area of leadership. She has been working as a department chair for the seventh grade math team uh, these last couple of years. And we've also really valued her efforts to develop our other team members as well, especially through our data cycles. Mr. Gonzalez said that Regina goes above and beyond the basic responsibilities of a teacher. Supporting the co-teach model, working with another certificated staff member in the classroom, team teaching with that person to best support special education students uh, in a mainstream classroom. And so the other example of going above and beyond would be Regina's time that she dedicates after school to support kids and tutoring them. Jeanette Zuniga is a second grade teacher at Ludacaga Dual Language Elementary. She was surprised by friends, family, and administrators this week. Hello, Mrs. Zuniga, my name is Jackie Wilhelm, and we are with the Othello Chamber of Commerce, and we are here to announce and recognize you as K-5 Teacher of the Year Award. <laughs> Jeanette was nominated by Ludacaga Assistant Principal Amy Wright. I nominated Jeanette Zuniga for Teacher of the Year because of all the phenomenal things that she does in her classroom. She does a really great job providing students with supports to acquire Spanish. By visuals, sentence frames, hands-on activities, the students in her class are like sponges and absorb all of those things. She helps our families and communities as our students are working to gain Spanish. Both Regina and Jeanette will be honored at the Chamber's annual banquet on the 24th. Ken Johnson, president of our board of directors, will also be honored by the Chamber as Othello's Citizen of the Year. He was nominated by fellow board member Sharon Schutte, who said, Ken loves Othello, loves the citizens young and old, has the heart of gold, and would virtually give the shirt off of his back. Representatives from the Chamber, school district, and Ken's family surprised him with the honor at his business earlier this week. He will also be recognized at the Chamber's annual banquet. Tom Christensen is Othello's 2023 Crystal Apple Award winner. He was nominated by the OSD administrative staff. He is always willing to go the extra mile for any kid and is always willing to um, try something new in his craft. Because, And as a veteran teacher, that sometimes can be a difficult thing to do. Um, but he's always willing to try new things to do what's in the best interest of kids. The Crystal Apple Award is an annual celebration held by Educational Service District 123. It recognizes educators who make a positive impact on the lives of their students. It's a big honor. Uh, not necessarily sure that I earned it any more than any of my colleagues, but it is, uh, it's nice to be recognized for the hard work that we do. What's been your favorite or what is your favorite part of the job? Seeing the light go on in kids' eyes when they finally understand, when they've struggled, and they, uh, they finally get it figured out, and there's, there's just kind of a, a light in their eyes. Mr. Christensen will be honored with other regional recipients at an event in Pasco in March.
Hiawatha's sixth graders think math is cool, and to prove it, they placed second in the E division at a regional math is cool competition in Richland. Math is cool is an after school club. Sixth grade is mentored by Heather Ochoa. Math is cool is pretty much like an academic mathematical competition among schools. They see mathematical problems and hear mathematical vocabulary that they don't normally hear in their general ed classroom. And most of the classes, uh, most of the questions are quite challenging. So it's just a good um, outlet for kids to increase their math ability. Fourth and fifth grade students also participate in the activity and their competitions are coming up later this year. Students in Lynette Rackham's sixth grade class at Scutney Springs will soon have new books in their class to accompany audiobooks they already have, thanks to a grant from the Columbia Basin Retired School Employees. Representative from the organization presented a $200 grant in the classroom this week. The grant will be used to purchase books so students can read and listen along at the same time. Mrs. Rackham says this helps improve comprehension and learning. And it just kind of reinforces the natural way to read and the flow and reading with um purpose and like fluidity and just kind of building that comprehension is what we're always aiming for because then they'll take like little quizzes too. Winter sports season just won't quit for our wrestlers and girls basketball. Othello High School sent their wrestlers off to state with a big celebration on Thursday morning. The athletes paraded through the halls with narration by Sammy Rocha before boarding their bus to be escorted out of town by Othello police officers. Eleven boys and eight alternates are participating in the state tournament in Tacoma this weekend. Eight girls are also representing Othello in Tacoma. We'll have results from the tournament later this weekend. Girls basketball won't give up the fight for state glory. They're on a hot streak in the 2A consolation bracket. They beat East Valley 53-35 at home on Tuesday and then took down Grandview 48-43 in a barn burner of a game on Thursday in Tagaris Gym. CWAC coach of the year Adolfo Coronado received a celebratory shower after the game. The girls are on the road in Clarkston on Saturday afternoon. Don't think that you get a break. Spring sports are starting up soon. Make sure to register on Family ID. You can get the latest OSD sports information anytime by visiting OthelloAthletics.com. Students at Scutney Springs were treated to a Winter Wonderland Carnival this week by their PTA, complete with treats and Christmas music. The activity was a prize for students who earned above a certain level in the Color Run fundraiser this fall. The carnival featured activities including a cakewalk, face painting, s'mores, watercolor painting, sand art, and a lot more. We've had a gorgeous streak of mild weather. I even had the motorcycle out a few times this week. The weekend and Monday look great with warm temperatures in the mid 50s. Some areas to our south may even get close to 60. Things cool down dramatically next week and highs will struggle to get out of the upper 20s with lows around 11 degrees on Wednesday and Thursday. Keep those warm coats and gloves handy. Don't forget there's no school on Monday or Tuesday for midwinter break. We'll see everyone again on Wednesday. Thanks for watching your weekend update. Enjoy these recent pictures and video clips.